All right, we're going to have a little bit more fun now. You see, I have my GM links here. I'm using this instead of the M107 because I hate the M107. It overheats like a monster. And the uh, accuracy on it is crap. I'm just going to say that right now. For a 50 cal, that thing is it's pretty bad. So, what I'm going to be demonstrating now is penetration at range. I don't agree with it, the way that Arma does it, but we'll just demonstrate it here. So let's have a practical example. Let's see, the closest I can get it, you know, 300 meters. That's fine, whatever. Okay. And before we get started, I gotta put my hat on. I think I'm cool, of course. <laughs> Delete evidence of what I just did. <laughs> There's a the target. And today we're gonna to be spawning an unarmed Kasaka. Yeah, like a little bit of lag there, but it's all right. All right, so 300 meters, 50 cal around, should have no problem. Oops, penetrating, and he's dead. Okay, there we go. Um. I forgot to set, I'm going to reset the temperature again, or the time of day, hence the temperature. Let's go back to 6 in the morning, or 7 in the morning. Yeah, since the last video. So, let's check this. Let the temperature hop back down again. Come on. Oh, come on, it's still not 30 degrees Celsius, come on. Okay, that's weird. Whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah. Want another Kasatka right there, just to show what I'm talking about again. Oh, or just to get the point across. I think it's only, yeah, we have one round left. Yeah, I'm hitting the windshield, but it's not going through. And they're just gonna sit there and take it, which is fabulous. There we go. Come on. There we go. So, some of the rounds are going through. It's not because I'm missing the target. It's, some of the rounds are going through the windshield, some are not. They have super bulletproof glass on these because I guess you have to weaken the windshield first, which I actually think is a pretty cool feature. But moving on. And once again, I'm just using this as quick reference to where I should put the... And there it is. Yeah, okay. Just make sure. Yeah, it's about 600 meters. We get the windshield, I guess. Ooh, hit top left. Oh, and he's taking off. Oh, get him, get him. And I hit him in the head. He's not dying now. Hit him again. So you see what I'm talking about. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm going to do some quick measures here. I hate using this gun, but I'm going to have to. Why? That's demo mags. That's why. 
Oh, what's the range card for that one? Seven, six hundred meters. 5.1. Alright, let's take you out of the sky. Come on. Seriously? Here. Yeah. By the way, anyone wondering how to aim with a Gustav, just leave it at the default zeroing of 200 meters. This thing doesn't lock on anymore, by the way, they fixed that. See the bottom thick line at the very bottom? Yep, you're going to aim about half a tick. See the tick above it? Take about half that distance and uh, aim below that, and it's going to hit. For example, right here, it's going to hit the pilots directly. Oh, we're going to watch this happen. Actually, no, what? Let's see if this works. It'd be funny if it did. Bullet cam. Or rocket cam, rather. Oh, yeah, it does! <laughs> that was entertaining. All right. So, velocity impact, zero meters, okay, whatever, I don't care. Whatever. Uh, M107 sucks. That's all I'm gonna say. But you saw what was happening there. You saw the blood splatter hitting in the face. It penetrated the shield, but when it hit them, it did, did such little damage that it didn't even kill the pilots. So, that's the way penetration works in Arma 3. I don't agree with it. You can hit them multiple times. I forget it was a three or four times you have to hit them with the windshield beyond 500 meters. I did a lot of messing around with it. It's three or four shots, but it's it's kind of stupid. So, I mean, that's a 50 cal round, and you got what kind of windshield on that chopper? Yeah, it's a pretty thick windshield, but dude, you get hit by three 50 cal rounds, and that's penetrating. I don't care who you are, you're gonna be dead, or at least you're not gonna have a face the rest of your life after what I just did to that guy. But anyway, um. Carl Gustav, this thing is a, it's a cheater AT weapon. The small works the same way if you have the small from the RHS pad. Uh, the reason being is because if you know where to aim, like I just showed you, you don't need, it has no drop at all. It just goes for that exact same spot no matter the distance. Uh, the AT-4 does have drop. Hmm. But anyway. But yeah, earlier part was how to make a range car transition to the different factors and shooting at long range. Windage, like I said, I'm not going to go over that. Uh, mainly because I don't know how it, how would I calculate it exactly. Or I shouldn't say that, I just don't want to put the effort in to calculate. It would literally take days at uh, shooting at different wind temperatures to do it. If you guys want to do it, feel free. Go ahead, post your results in the armor community. I'm sure people will be grateful because AGM has not... The AGM team has not put the time in to publish a range table yet, so have fun, guys. And uh, let's see, how should I finish this off with uh, some funness? Oh, one more thing I actually want to go over. So you probably saw the APDS rounds. So that stands for Armor Piercing Detaching Sabo, and I don't want to hear shit from you guys saying it's Sabo. Sabo. S-A-B-O-T. Does that really sound like an English word to you? No, it's not. It's French. That's so why I pronounce Sabo. Same thing with garage. It's a French word for shoe. And they designed and they chose that word specifically for the round for the way that the uh, the uh, the Sabo detaches from the round as soon as the round leaves the barrel. Why? Because it acts like a shoe. It detaches from the round just like a shoe. That is a little bit of, I don't know, trivia for you guys. But anyway, this Sabo round, inaccurate as hell. You will miss targets beyond 800 meters consistently. 
with this. You'll get about a 50% hit rate if you're dead on center mass, the guy's not moving. So, Sabo round, it's for made for penetrating armor, for taking out the guys in the driver's seat I just did, but I hesitate to use it. Why? Because if he's at longer ranges, I don't even know if I'm going to hit the dude. That's why. So you should stick to the, the standard 50 cal rounds. And uh, I'm actually going to split this to the next part.